This is Brad with Comics Baron Sci-Fi reporting live from Time Travelers in Berkeley, Michigan. Uh, we're talking about, uh, it's a mid-year point, we're looking at our best and our worst so far for the year of uh, sci-fi, fantasy movies, whatever you like. Um, we don't all like, but that's fine, that's why we're here. Uh, Nick. Best and worst? Well, uh, I, I, I'm going to say right off, I don't have a worst because it's still early in the uh, movie season. So I've only seen Avengers Age of Ultron. And let me tell you, my, the first comic book I can really remember buying was Avengers 165 in 1978. So I have loved the Avengers for a long, long time. And, and I had a great experience seeing Avengers 2. Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers, uh, just to say... You know, at the end, the million robots attacking was a lot like the million aliens attacking in the first one. So it is a little bit of a, we saw that a little bit before. Otherwise, wonderful performances, great characters, great acting. It was a lot of belly laughs in it. It was hilarious. Arguably Stanley's best cameo in The Vision is in it. And I didn't know The Vision was going to be in it. No. So I was like a little kid. Uh, yeah. It, it was just... It was just, yeah, yeah, so so the vision is in it, and it's fantastic. So for me, that was the best uh, so far this year. Yeah, Zoe, how about you? Well, uh, I wanted to go with Chris first because he oh, okay. we have the same favorite. Yeah, you know, I want to, I, because I worship uh, comic books. Uh, pagan. Pagan. Well, I, you know, well, baptize me afterwards. Anyway, uh, I want to I wanna say Avengers, but for me, it was Mad Max, yeah. um, Fury Road. I could not believe. Yeah, I was watching it halfway through. I'm like, I'm not sure where this is going, but I'm really digging it. The concept, uh, the concepts, uh, art behind the vehicles, the, the muscle engines, those V8, V12, V Infinity engines, just making all that noise yeah. and the, the rock and roll and, and, and just, just the art, the depiction, everything. This guy, the director, he's 70 years old. I love it when an old dude just comes up, shows up, and just kicks all the young kids' butt. And like, this is how it's done. This movie has like a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. That is almost <laughs> on heard of okay so so what did you hate about it i didn't you know, there's nothing you know and charlie staring she's you know you are she's fine made. you know you are fine if you are missing an arm and you're bald headed and i still think you're cute okay. that that's she is that it was just a great I'm not movie i test that it. theory by the way i like my left arm but uh, hey, man, so you know. zoe well yeah. um literally <laughs> everyone that i've talked to that has watched the Mad Max like uh, movies, they're like it's the best one that I've seen. I love it. I personally and all the cars work. Yeah, they all work. Yeah, that's insane. One and there's so many beautiful shots of like the oh just everything. Nicholas Nicholas Holt mm -hmm. in it is one of my favorite actors. And honestly, from the trailer, you can't even t tell that it's Nicholas Holt until you actually watch the movie. And he does such an amazing job. I can't even. And Charlize Theron, she's like my idol now because she she was has awesome. been in this movie and. She said a really great thing about uh, this film where, like, you know, females love watching action films. Like, we're, like, if you think that girls don't like to watch action films, that's a silly thought. And, like, we're, like, a demographic that definitely watches them. And if there is a post-apocalyptic world, females will survive. Like, she said that. I think it's just a simple thing that she said, and it's true. So it's tr They'll survive because they have a higher pain tolerance in man. Yeah, that, we do. We go through true. so much more pain. Yeah. You figure out how to reproduce without us, you're stuck with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Too. Speaking of which, <laughs> I, you know, and I just wanted, you know, and I wanted to say for all the people who've seen Mad Max, there, there's just, there, there's little uh, nods to the original Mad Max, you know, like the end of it, you know, it sort of had that. All right, all right, don't, come on, come on, come on. I come on. Uh, uh, I know you yeah. weren't. Yeah, uh, do Voltron, that. hooray, yeah, yeah, Spader, Voltron. boo, <laughs> uh, Kingsman, I want to be one. That's yeah. why it's good. Um, yeah, because gadgets are fun and I like gadgets. It was, it was, it was very good. It was, it was well written. It was very James Bondish. It was, it, it was British. The good guys are the bad guys, and the bad guys are the good guys, and who knows? And people change, and all that. Yeah, it was very well written. It was a good. Yeah. I almost want to read the book. Um, that's how good it was. He wow. wants to read the book. Yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, be right back with another segment after this. <laughs>